capitalize wizard. And this is where you set um, your, this is where you create your traits. So offsets as, offsets are a way to describe indicators and price bars historically. And you can look it up in the resource center if you're not sure. And what we're going to do here is we're going to or we're going to create a strategy of a or a reversal pattern. So we're going to have our offset two bar is going to be a bearish bar, followed by offset one bar, also bearish. And then we're going to have a bullish bar. And the main feature we're going to focus here is the bullish bar is going to close above offset uh, above bar with offset one. So we're going to look at how we can quickly describe this. And there's a lot of ways that you could describe this. Um, let's just look at a most basic way. For instance, if we're going to look at offset uh, two bar, to describe that as bearish, we can just describe the close as being below the open of that bar. And that's really easy to do. So let's just, let's minimize this a little bit so we can look at the picture while we're doing this. And guys, if you have questions along the way, pop them on and uh, I'll definitely get to them. Okay, so let's let's type let, let's type the strategy and let's create the strategy. So if let's say uh, Tesla, okay, um, and we're going to go Tesla bar. And I'm just going to say these bars are an hour, let's say. And this is with an offset of two bars, okay? And we're going to describe the close of this bar, the, bar, the close as being below the open. And we use bar again there. And remember this time it's the open because we're comparing it uh, to the open of that bar. So we're going to close that to open and it's the same bar. So we're going to use the same offset with an offset of two bars. Okay, great. So we've described now in very basic terms, we could go is below by at least uh, 0.2%. We could add figures in there. I'm just going to do a very basic strategy here and we'll try to get some hits here. Okay, then let's how could we basically or easily describe that next bearish bar? We could say that the close of offset one is below the close of offset two. I mean, that's very basic to see there. So let's type that in. And remember, you can change uh, all your parameters uh, once you select the bar or the indicator. And here we're going to go close as well, because we're just going to reference the close of bar with an offset of one is below. Oh, oh, let's go one bars, actually. And we're going to reference that to bar to close. So it says the bar. Okay. And remember, change your parameters. And we're going to reference the close there as well. And remember, that's with an offset of two bars. Great. So we've now, we've now created a bearish candle followed by a bearish candle. We haven't put any strict parameters on it in terms of size. We've just wanted it to be two bears. And then we're going to describe this bullish candle. And the easiest way to describe it is that close, uh, the previous bar close is above offset one bars open. Let's type that in. And you guys will notice this looks a bit different. I'm not using bar. I'm just using previous one hour bar. And I can say close. It's exactly, it's exactly the same uh, as bar. It's just I'm using previous and that bars with an offset of two. So it's a different syntax, but same, uh, same results. So we're going to say that close 
is above Tesla bar. And we're going to go remember open and we should make that an hour. Got it. Uh, okay, let's just, there we are. Great. Open. Okay, with an, and remember with an offset of one bars. Great. So we've just described very rudimentary two bearish bars followed by a bullish bar that moves above the open of the middle bar. And we're going to say here then by 100 Tesla. Okay, so the strategy is done. Um, you can see it's at a market order. Remember that the timeline is up here, so we know where we are. We're on the entry, and we'll just click next. And let's just close position. I'll just make this as well, uh, trailing stop of 1%. Okay, great. Wonderful. Okay, so when we get to our confirmation page, you can still go back and forth. If you just click entry strategy, it will just take you back to the entry and you can uh, edit it and so on. You have your entry conditions here and you can name your strategy. We'll just call this Tesla buy candle and you can see your entry conditions are there your exit conditions are there and when you scroll down you'll notice that there are three options you have back test which is the first line in creating a strategy after the back test it performs well or you like the strategy you can move on to simulate which is exactly the same as paper trading and once that's performed well then you move on to run live and for this, I'm going to backtest the strategy as backtesting is a pivotal part of anyone's trading strategy. And it's as easy as clicking backtest, and let's just make this a full screen now. And um, it'll take a, a couple seconds or so to run. Um, and guys, the first thing you'll notice is the limitation with backtesting, we use one minute historical data. Obviously, for simulation and live trading, uh, we use live tick data, updated every second. So it's one of the um, limitations within backtesting. Um, you'll notice here on the screen, you can see the name at the top left-hand corner. You can edit that anytime. Um, you'll see next or the next uh, tab is hits, and that's the cycle. That's an ex uh, entry and an exit, and then you can see the total uh, profit and loss. Uh, you can also run it live straight away. And here is our menu button, and our menu button. Um, you guys should catch the introduction webinar where we go through all of this. Um, if I have time, I may go through it, but uh, we've got a lot to get through. Um, you can see our strategies here is, uh, we have the entry and the exit, and then this is the most important. Uh, you can see here, this is our back test chart. You can see that um, this strategy had quite a few losses, more than double, although the win average was actually double the losing average. And um, you can get all your information for your, of your strategy here on the right hand side you have your notification so each hit that happened whether it was an entry or exit is here uh, you have the time you have whether it was an entry or exit you have the amount of units bought and the average price here and you'll see the average price is the execution price and sometimes you'll see a price here and that's actually the live tick price at uh, that time so this is the most important page when you guys are back to and you can see here we had 52 hits with 